Aquarius, I'm about to do y'all's full moon reading. I'm just gonna see um what energies are coming towards y'all during this full moon. Well, on the full moon on August 3rd and a couple of days after that. So I'm gonna see the energy coming towards you. Um, how you're gonna be seeing or feeling this energy in your life if this is for you, some advice and your biggest obstacle during this time. So um yeah, let's see. Can I get five cards for Aquarius as well as um, advice from this oracle deck. Where are they? What energies are coming towards them? What is their biggest obstacle during this time? Or what will be their biggest obstacle? Um, how will they see or feel this energy coming towards them during this full moon? And um, what is their advice? Or how to best um, incorporate or overcome this obstacle or energy coming towards them Aquarius seven of swords where you are okay so there is or will be an ending I don't I feel like if it's for you you'll know what this ending is. It could be an abrupt ending. Um with the tower being here, it's either a situation that you know you can't stay in, whether that's a relationship or friendship or job or home situation or something. Um yeah, cuz the tower could be a literal, you know, building or home. So, I was doing y'all reading and it paused because the battery is low and then i looked up and i was done the reading and saw that it paused so i'm just gonna go back to where i was um i feel like with this page of wands you already know that you have to leave a situation like you already know that something is not for you or you can't stay there like it's either you can't stay stuck in something with um the tower being here and then with grieving coming out as y'all advice i feel like for some of y'all it may be stuck in grief whether there's a loss of a person if that's the case i'm sorry for your loss if it's the loss of a relationship it pretty much is the same thing you always have to grieve um when somebody's not in your life anymore if it's the loss of a job or a home that just doesn't feel like home anymore whether it's because of somebody who you live with or the building you live in or just where you are, you know you can't stay there anymore. Whether that's in a spiritual sense, emotional sense, or like physically, there's something that you know you have to leave with the Tower of Me here. So that's going to be your main obstacle during the, these days after the full moon. Um, so... You're going to feel this energy coming towards you as the three of wands. I feel like you're eventually going to see it as the opportunity to go towards something that you do want. I feel like I clarified the tower with the six of pentacles. So it's definitely a situation that you have been or are giving to. You. That is um, not giving you anything in return. So, with their advice being the four of cups, and it says on her shirt, over it, I feel like it's definitely, I like, not get over it with this grief card being here or the tower, but I feel like it's saying, um, there's something you're looking past, like you're looking past, um, the good that came from a situation or the good that could come from a situation, you might just be looking at the bed with the four of cups. If not, it, and this is a situation about some sort of rejection or feeling some sort of negative emotion. I feel like it's saying, um, I 
Like there are things that, that you don't know or hidden factors involved. And it's something better for you outside of this situation. But the four of cups. Like there's some sort of blessing in disguise that comes from this. Um even with even if it was the death of a person, which hopefully it's not for somebody but even if it was with this butterfly coming from this grieving card it just reminds me of rebirth and of um thinking of the good that came from somebody's life if it's not about a person the good or the lessons you learn from a connection or the years that you've had at a place or even the lesson that you learned from realizing that it wasn't the lessons that you learned while realizing that um, something was not able to be built on or needs to be left in the past. So I'm going to read these messages. I feel like what the fool is telling you to be faithful. I was going to say optimistic, but I feel like the better word is like faithful. That if you take a leap of faith into something new or different with the fool, um... You'll always land on your um, four legs, pretty much like a cat. There will always be pretty much life after death, whether that's literally or like, you know, after something ends, there'll be a new beginning. I don't know. I feel like I'm over, overly trying to explain shit. But let me read the message for grieving. Okay, you're experiencing a great loss right now, and so it is important to acknowledge your great grief, grief through drops of your tears. Allow them to flow freely to cleanse away your wounded emotions as you nurse a broken heart. Whether you've tragically lost a loved one or something close to no, or something has come to an end, the unbearable pain is more than you can cope with, and you're not sure how you can carry on. However, know that your prayers have been heard in your hour of need. Slowly, in your heart, will begin to knit together. No, it says slowly your heart will begin to knit together the fragments that have been shattered. And eventually, you'll feel whole again. So, the manifestation. Like that just made me say that. Okay. Um, I feel like that's just me just picking up on somebody's energy. Because I'll cry on a commercial. I'll cry when people cry on TV or YouTube or whatever. You crying, I'm crying. <laughs> so, I guess that's just an empath thing or whatever. The, um, the manifestation card reads, the alchemist within urges you to reawaken your powerful manifestation abilities demonstrating a strong will and focus will drive your desires into fruition with a little magical help of course as you step back into alignment through spell work invocation and acknowledging both aspects of light and shadow self you become testimonies to the wise ones who walk before you. The universe is poised to support you as it reflects your positive intentions. So go and grab your dreams with that fool energy. Reach for your goals as a magical energy surges through you. Everything is yours for the taking and will continue to be so as you add your own magic touch. So um, Aquarius, I hope y'all enjoyed or got something from this message. Thanks for watching. Peace.